Hi everyone. Thanks for coming back to my channel. My name is Edie Ann. I'm an independent superstar director with Sensi. Um, it's been about 12 years now. Um, I want to share something with you real quick. So Facebook has done a job on me. Um, they have banned me off of Facebook and it's been quite a journey trying to figure out how to run my business outside of social media. Um, there are many things that I've tried as far as getting back on Facebook and to no avail. I am on the outside looking in. Um, so I have tried to figure out a way to run my business, um, to be able to still train my team, still gain new customers and communicate with my existing customers. And although we have a very good workstation within Sensi, um, you can't just stay within email parameters because people don't always read emails anymore. Right. So, um, the one things that I've been, or the thing that I've been missing the most from Facebook is the group aspect. So I have a VIP group and I also have a team group and that community that gets created within a group of Facebook on Facebook is pretty valuable. Um, and I've not been able to recreate that anywhere as of yet. Um, but I shall prevail. <laughs> when I first started Sensi, I um, I live in a town of 192 to 200 people. And so I knew very quickly I was going to have to overcome the lack of customers um, and people to do parties. And so I went to social media to do that. Um, and now I am finding that I'm having to recreate the wheel again. You know, and people will say, oh, well, just do it old school. Go back to the way that we used to do it. That's not where people are. And in sales, you kind of got to go where the people are versus trying to get them to come to you, you know? So anyway, so I have been using this program called Project Broadcast. I'm not here to teach you how to use it. I kind of want to show you what I'm doing with it and the possibilities that might be in it. And if you're using Project Broadcast, I would love to hear some of the ways that you're using it for your business, for your team, for your culture, for your community. Um, I would love, 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 love to hear that. Um, and so what I'm going to do is share with you a little bit of my dashboard um, so that you can see what um, I'm utilizing it for and go from there, I guess. I don't know. Hold on. Let me share the screen. All right. So on my dashboard, um, there is this chat feature, which I'm kind of trying to cover. I don't know that it really matters, but um, I've got this chat going on. We have chat ability. It's a texting based service. Um, and so it allows me to communicate one to many to my customers, to my team. Um, and it also has this chat feature. So we have the ability to uh, chat back and forth, which is super nice. Um, one of the things that I'm utilizing a lot. Well, let's go back. So you also have the ability to use keywords. And so keywords are something that somebody would text in. Let's say uh, you text BNS VIP, which is one of my uh, words right here, to my phone number, and it will provide a message back to you saying, hey, we're going to put you on our VIP list, fill out this form, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So it has the ability to do word functions. So in other words, you can type in a word, send it as a text and it will reply with something else. Okay. Um, so I have a lot of keywords set up. Um, I have, uh, texting parties. I have scrolling parties. Um, I have programs for my team. Um, I have onboarding programs for my new consultants. Maybe it's a new sponsor and they need help because they got a new consultant. Um, so I have a lot of that stuff set up as well. Um, I have birthday and, and anniversary texts that go out. So there's a lot of functionality that I'm utilizing in this that is text based. Um, the other thing that I'm really enjoying with project broadcast is something called landing pages and the landing pages allow me to create a page on the web, right? With a URL attached to it, um, to give access to information. So let me give you an example. So I, right now, because I don't have, and so here's the thing that I'm missing in my VIP group, for instance, if a new product is being released, all I had to do was go post it in that group and everybody saw it, but I could do that multiple times a day, multiple times a week. 
with texting, you don't really want to do that, right? Because you don't want to be sending three texts a day to somebody because what's going to happen? They're going to stop. They're going to unsubscribe. They're going to say X nay on the text day. Okay. <laughs> um, and so what I have created is a newsletter um, for my team and for my customers. So for my team, this is kind of what it looks like. Let me, I'm going to open it up in edit form so you can see what it looks like in edit form. But um, so I have information here for my team. I call it a living document. So every time there's a new update, I come in and I update it. Um, so I have all kinds of information here that they could also find on the news tab in the workstation, but sometimes having it somewhere else and explained in a different way just makes more sense to people. Um, and so I have a lot of information on here for the team. All of these buttons go to the workstation, right? So if there's something that they want information on, then they can go grab it. And so this document gets changed often. Um, I also have one for my customers. It's actually pretty similar, but it's just more customer based um, with information that they wouldn't need if they're not a consultant. OK, so again, living document. So two ways for them to get to this is they can text in a keyword to the phone number or they can actually get the website address, the URL and just visit it. OK, so for instance, this is the URL for the customer one. And I don't know if it's going to let me do this. Yes, it is. So this is what they would get. Now, on a computer, it's going to look different than what it looks like on a... Um, I wonder if it'll let me... Yeah. So this is what it would look like on a cell phone, mobile device. Okay. Super clean, super easy, super fun. So same kind of aspect that I am creating land pages, uh, land landing pages for um, is things like learning about a fundraiser. I have a payment button page. So they have the ability to come and if they want to make a payment on something, I can send them to this page, to this URL. There's also a keyword attached. So if they type in a keyword to the phone number, it'll bring them to this page as well. Um, I have it for uh, current fundraisers. So in other words, somebody who's actually hosting a fundraiser, I can give them this page and it will bring them to the information for their specific fundraiser. So landing pages seems to have been a very um, good way for me to be able to get bulk information in a small space. Um, I also have things like my scroll party. So a scrolling party means that they text in the keyword and they get the link to my scroll party. And so the scroll party is going to look like this, where I have some videos. I have information about all the product. A scroll party means that the whole party is just through one scroll. I do have a button party too. And the button party looks something like this where they have buttons that they can push to get to certain information on certain products. Pretty straightforward. So, and, and that's because I was doing Facebook parties. I was doing many Facebook, many Facebook parties, and now I can't do them. So I'm having to find fun ways to be able to do parties outside of social media. And this seemed like a pretty good way to do that. Um, I, this, the beauty of the way that the button party works is if somebody wants information on a specific thing, I can give them that specific URL and have them grab that information just for that topic. Okay. So that's been, um, pretty helpful as well. So there's just a lot of different things that we can do with landing pages that I'm absolutely loving. If you're using landing pages, please let me know. So something else that I know that Project Broadcast is working on, and this is where my hope is, this is where my desire is, they have something called Spaces. Spaces is supposed to be like a group. And right now, all it is is a glorified group chat, which when you get, you know, three, 400 people, never mind 1,500 to 2,000 people in one chat role, oh, it's a mess. It's chaotic. It's, it's not manageable. Um, and so kind of that's what's happening in these right now. So we're not utilizing them very much, but 
Project Broadcast says that they're hoping that they will be able to create more of a group space for posting rather than just chatting. So fingers crossed on that one. Um, I can schedule broadcasts to go out. Uh, for instance, we have a release that's going to be happening on Monday. So I have something set up here to go out to my customers um, and all of my birthday wishes, my anniversary. that's all set up. So there's a lot of beauty to this program. Um, I can do templates where I have things that are set up um, automatically for me and I can just plop them into a message. Um, I've got tags where I can group people together. So my team is together, my customers are together. Um, and then the contacts tab has everybody that's in there with me. Um, so I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of how I'm using it so far. I'm very new to Project Broadcast. So like I said, if you have anything that you would like to share in regards to how you're using it, please, please comment below, message me, let me know how you're utilizing it. If you have any bundle codes that you want to share, send them my way. A bundle code is something that you can create as a user that bundles all of the things that you're doing together. So if you have a keyword that gets typed in and it sends you to a landing page, those types of things, you can bundle that together and create a code that you can share with other project broadcast users. So that's fun. Um, that's all I wanted to share with you guys today. Uh, if you have any questions, you can ask them. I don't know if I'll have the answers, but who knows? I might. <laughs> um, but if you have anything you want to share, please do so as well. I am super excited to be utilizing YouTube and Project Broadcast and Instagram as my social media platforms, no longer Facebook. Um, but if you want to reach me, you can always go to my website, which has all kinds of information. Go check it out. Have an amazing day, everyone.